and happy Mother's Day weekend. Say, since the last time I shot one of these videos, we've talked quite a lot about support systems and support systems, support plans. And that just got me thinking about, you know, the whole internal business relationships. I think that people don't really grasp that quite like they used to. I know on my team, I used to be quite clear and that that the operations group we performed turnarounds for, they were the client. And, and my team was pretty comfortable with that. And before long, we were using that kind of language as we spoke. But I remember uh, one day after a turnaround meeting, one of the PMs from the projects team followed me back to my office and he kind of closed the door behind him as he came in. He said, uh, you know, I, I really don't like the way you keep referring to those guys as the client. I was a little bit bewildered by that. What do you mean? And he says, well, you make it sound like we're service providers and they're the client. And, and all I could say was, well, that is exactly it. And if Projects isn't a service provider to the client, who pays the bills? We're all service providers to the part of the business that pays the bills. Anyway, this week's talk about uh, support plans and the difficulty of getting support plans. I'm wondering if it ties in to what he was talking to me about that day. I wonder if people, you know, just somehow got some kind of a issue with being in the service provider business. And if they do, if they wouldn't be happier to, you know, switch to the owner's side or something. Anyway, have a great weekend.